Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 28th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 365. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Liu Tao bites back at criticisms of her body. And Xiao Zhan becomes the new face of leaning at a perfect time. But first, here's what's recently premiered. Twelve Legends is a Republican-era drama starring Jasper Liu and Guli Naja, and it premiered yesterday, March 27th. Jasper Liu plays a character who's the human form of an ordinary rock. He pursues the love of his life, the human form of a luminous night pearl, played by Guli Naja, in this love story that spans 2,000 years. From the look of the trailers and the pictures, the drama features some eye-catching sets and beautiful costumes from the Republican era. It is slated for 32 episodes and is available on Youku, no English subs at the moment. But it looks like it might be coming to Youku's YouTube channel, as it has the trailer there. And just a quick postscript for 12 Legends, last episode when I spoke about it around the 2 minute mark, I meant Jasper Liu was in 2019's Triad Princess, not Timmy Xu, my mistake there. Thanks to the commenters who pointed it out for me. Unusual Idol Love is a modern romance drama starring Ao Ruipeng and Rain Lu, and it premiered on March 27th as well. A top idol superstar one day discovers that he is actually an artificial intelligence being, and his company wants to destroy him because of an irreparable malfunction. He runs and seeks refuge at a gossip reporter's home, of all places, and ends up living with her. If you're guessing that they eventually fall in love, I would say you have terrific instincts. Unusual Idol Love is slated for 24 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. Hand in Hand is a modern family drama starring Liu Tao and Li Guangjie, and it premiered earlier today. The drama puts husband, wife, and parent-child relationships under the microscope as it follows four families and how they tackle challenges in their daily lives. Liu Tao has had two dramas air in quick succession. Palace of Devotion aired just 8 days ago, now this one. And I'm seeing a bit of a pattern here. Zhang Han, Bai Jingting, and a few other actors have had two dramas air in quick succession as well. I don't know if this is anything, I just think it's a curious pattern. Hand in Hand is later for 40 episodes and is available on Mango TV. No English subs at the moment. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here are a couple of dramas that have recently confirmed their March premieres. Hello Mr. Gu is an upcoming modern romance drama starring Chen Jingke and Yan Zhichao, and they've confirmed a March 30th premiere. It follows the contract marriage between a CEO with anaclophobia, the fear of crowds, and a penniless heiress who has a completely different personality from him. Somehow though, they become soulmates. That's sweet. And it's the first starring role in a drama ever for both actors as well. Hello Mr. Goo is slated for 30 episodes and will premiere on Tencent. I'll update again on the English sub situation. And the other drama that's confirmed their premiere date is The Rational Life starring Qing Lan and Dylan Wang. It will air on March 31st. I spoke about the drama at length in my last episode when its premiere date was still just a rumor, so I won't do it again here. But it's nice that the rumored premiere date has materialized. Always happy when that happens. And moving on, here's some celebrity news, beginning with Liu Tao. Netizens criticize Liu Tao's body in Palace of Devotion, and she bites back. Liu Tao stars in the currently airing costume drama Palace of Devotion with Vic Zhou. And in the drama, there's a scene in the first episode where she sits in a tub and gets cleaned up. Well, netizens came out to do what netizens do best, which is to criticize, saying that her arms were too big, her shoulders were too wide, and her body was just, quote unquote, too strong. This is a screenshot of the scene right here. Oh yeah, she's absolutely hideous. I can't believe the producers didn't edit it out of the final cut. Or maybe, just maybe, the people who made the comments need to get their eyes checked. Seriously though, I think she looks quite sexy in the scene. 
In any case, Liu Tao responded to those comments by posting on Weibo. I am in charge of my figure, and I hope all girls will freely realize their body figure on the basis of health. Gotta love that positive and empowering message. Looks like she's not phased by the criticism at all. Next up, we have Xiao Zhan, who recently signed with Chinese sports brand Li Ning. If you go to the official Li Ning website now, the first thing you'll see are these two pictures of Xiao Zhan. He's immediately become the face of the brand. The announcement was made a couple of days ago on March 26th on Li Ning's Weibo page. I play quite a bit of badminton, so I'm kind of familiar with the brand. Its founder, Li Ning, is a Chinese gymnast and a three-time Olympic gold medalist. He's a billionaire businessman nowadays, and he's probably added to his wealth recently as well. The unveiling of Xiao Zhan as ambassador, plus the recent calls for the boycott of many Western brands, gave his company a shot in the arm. In the early trading hours of March 26, its stock rose over 20% from the previous day. I think this is a savvy move by Xiao Zhan and his team, and the timing couldn't have been better considering everything that's been happening. We might also see Chinese celebrities sign with domestic brands more now, and not so much with foreign brands. In a way though, this works against them, because when there's a lack of competition, their prices will have to come down. We'll see how it all plays out. And on that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas and Actors at the Moment, Edition 64, March 28, 2021. The data is provided by VLinkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. And we begin with the Top 10 Web Dramas. The list is based on view counts on Youku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Ping Pong, the modern drama stars Bai Jingting and Timmy Xu. Number 9, Breath of Destiny, the modern drama stars Steffi Chi and Tony Yang. Number 8, Remember My Boy, the modern drama stars Daniel Zhou and Babu Zhu. Number 7, Country Love Season 13, the modern drama stars Bi Chang and He Shufeng. Number 6, My Heroic Husband, the costume drama stars Guo Qiling and Song Yi. Number 5, Palace of Devotion, the costume drama stars Liu Tao and Vic Cho. Number 4, Word of Honor, the costume drama stars Zhang Zhehan and Simon Gong. Number 3, The Sword and the Brocade, the costume drama stars Wallace Cheng and Seven Tan. Number 2, Rattan, the costume drama stars Jing Tian and Vin Zhang. And number 1, You Are My Hero, the modern drama stars Sandra Ma and Bai Jingting. I did not see it coming, but You Are My Hero surges to the top in this edition. I actually sat down to watch the first episode, but then I had to go take care of something, so I really only caught the first 10 minutes. I guess I'm gonna have to pick it up again real soon. And now here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Fighting Youth, the modern drama stars Hu Jingyan and Yin Tao. Number 9, Cross Mountains and Seas, the modern drama stars Claudia Wang and Zhang Guoqiang. Number 8, Mining Town, the retro drama stars Huang Xuan and Zhang Jiayi. Number 7, Road to Rebirth, the modern drama stars Jia Nai Liang and Ivy Chen. Number 6, Storm Eye, the modern drama stars Yang Mi and Vin Zhang. Number 5, Awakening Age, the revolution era drama stars Yu He Wei and Zhang Tong. Number 4, One Boat, One World, the modern drama stars Zhang Han and Claudia Wang. Number 3, Don't Think of Interrupting My Studies, the modern drama stars Landy Li and Edward Lai. Number 2, Dou Luo Continent, the costume drama stars Xiao Zhan and Wu Xuanyi. And number 1, Brilliant Girls, the modern drama stars Yin Tao and Song Yi. Not much change in this edition from last. Brilliant Girls stays champion and Dou Luo Continent stays runner up. And now here are the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between web and TV. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Vin Zhang. He stars in Rattan with Jing Tian. Number 9, Zhang Han. He stars in One Boat, One World with Claudia Wang. Number 8, Wang Yibo. He stars in Legend of Fei with Zhao Liying. Number 7, Timmy Xu. 
He stars in Weaving a Tale of Love with Guli Naja. Number 6, Bai Jingting. He stars in You Are My Hero with Sandra Ma. Number 5, 710. She stars in The Sword and the Brocade with Wallace Chung. Number 4, Jing Tian. She stars in Rattan with Vin Zhang. Number 3, Simon Gong. He stars in Word of Honor with Zhang Zhehan. Number 2, Zhang Zhehan. He stars in Word of Honor with Simon Gong. And number 1, Xiao Zhan. He stars in Dou Luo Continent with Wu Xuanyi. Finally, Vin Zhang makes the top 10, and the two stars of Word of Honor hold strong at 2nd and 3rd, and expectedly, Xiao Zhan stays champion for an 8th edition in a row. And this gives me a passing grade for the predictions I made on Thursday on who today's champions would be. I got 2 out of 3 correct. I had Rattan as the top web drama, but You Are My Hero took it. In any case, there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of who and what drama's hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas and actors perform. And that's it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt, and let me just back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. If you want to check out the t-shirt, there's a link to it in the description below. And this show wouldn't be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps and shoutouts. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.